I'm Michelle and welcome to Flow Jam Studios. I'm this week's guest instructor. This week we'll be learning the Jawbreaker chest roll. Prerequisites for this move are chest roll. If you're not quite feeling comfortable with your chest rolls yet, I recommend checking out Kayla Flow Jam's tutorial from last week, which is the full chest roll. For this move, you want to use the hoop that you're most comfortable doing chest rolls with. For me, I will be using my 29 or UV orange 11 16 hoop from Flow Jam Studios. So grab your hoop and let's get started. The essence of this trick is basically a chest roll with a pinch break between your shoulder and your jaw. So starting out when you're learning this trick, uh, it, it actually helps if you start with both of your arms facing whichever direction that you're gonna do the roll from. And as you progress, you can then extend it out to both arms out and you can pinch. So I'm going to start like I'm going to do a chest roll and what you wanna look for is when the hoop is coming to about right here. So it's kind of in that groove of your shoulder that's where you wanna pinch. And it's gonna kinda of hurt a little bit, but you'll get used to it. So you pinch and then you turn and let go and it'll roll down your arm. Uh, so an important aspect of this trick is to make sure that you're doing a slow and controlled chest roll. You don't wanna to try to do it too fast. It's gonna be really hard to get that specific spot to pinch at. Uh, you also wanna make sure that when you're rolling, you follow the hoop once you pinch because that's gonna be very important in the directional change of this trick. So just so I'm gonna start, I roll from my right, so I have my hoop in my right hand, both hands pointed out towards my right. I'm kind of going to tilt my head back to help create that pathway from my hand to the groove that I want to do my pinch in. So slow and controlled, just like that. And like I said, the more comfortable you get with it, so you just wanna keep practicing like that. And the more comfortable you get to feel with it, then you can start with both arms out. And also, I don't necessarily have my arms completely straight out like a T. I kind of V them a little bit. That also helps once you're progressing. So, slow and control, pinch, and voila. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, give us a like and make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks. Uh, again, my name is Michelle Reppert. If you wanna see more from me, my Instagram is underscore machine gun Shelly. And happy hooping!